now we will begin the re reassembly of the gun. One of the key things in making a rebuild last is in how clean you get your gun. If you just wipe it down and put it back together, it is not going to last. You really need to get into every nook and cranny and get every piece out that you possibly can. Now we'll begin reassembling it. We're going to start with the trigger group or the trigger spool. Just simply, you, I'm not going to put a lot of grease on this uh, so that you can easily see what I'm doing. But normally you would put just a little amount on each one of the O-rings before you assemble it. Put it inside. And what I always do is I take the gun, pull the trigger down because there's one little spot and when this spool is reassembled into the gun that it will hang up and this spring does not have enough tension to push it all the way through. So what we do right here in the end of the trigger, just hold it like this and pop it through. And you saw how that came up. That lets you know that you've pushed it all the way through because it's got enough tension it's holding the trigger up. Now you reinstall the spring inside of the end of the trigger. And there is no O-ring in this. It is cut at a special angle so that it doesn't require one and it will seal the air. Nothing to it. Next, we'll reinstall the air cylinder. And you'll notice it's got a slot cut here and a slot cut here. So you can 180 degrees that you can install it. And as you see, I hold it in my fingers because usually you're going to put grease around the O-rings and to keep from getting it on your hands, I just hold it in my fingers like this, put it inside the gun and spin it until it lines up and then just push it in. And you heard the air as it went in. That way you know that it's fully in, uh, all the way to the end of the cylinder. And of course, you want to put grease around the threads here too and reinstall your safety housing. Next, you install the mixing chamber. And I don't know if you can see in the video, but on the top of the mixing chamber, there's some numbers. You always want those numbers on top so that you can see them. That's because this is drilled off center, your impingement ports. If you put it in upside down, the impingement ports will not be at the correct angle to the side seals. So always make sure that you got your numbers on top. Just like that. Okay, next you want to reinstall the fluid housing. And you make sure you've got your O-rings in, and especially this one, because if you put this on and you've got that tip sticking through, you can't, re you can't come back later and put that O-ring on. You'll have to disassemble this, put the O-ring on, and then put it back together. The easiest way to do it is to hold it in your hands where you get your two fingers free. Have this where it is straight, perpendicular to the mixing chamber. And then just, because it moves, it's not gonna go on perfectly straight. Once you get it on, hold it straight with this hand and use these two fingers to turn the screw to lock it down. And as you can see, if you've got it correct, it will not rotate. Okay, next we will reinstall the check valve cartridges. And as we said before, uh, you, they are marked, they go on one side. This one has an A, so that means it goes on the A side. And of course, as you said, you always have some lube, some grease that comes with the gun that you would put around the O-rings before you install it. You just take your finger and kind of rotate it in and it'll pop right in. Also, it's always a good idea to check and make sure that the check ball is actually free. So take your screwdriver and push on it and you can feel it move, letting you know that the fluid will flow through this and your gun will operate correctly. Next, we will install the side seal cartridges. This one has nothing on it, so that means it goes on the B side. Just 
push them down in there. Also, when you've reassembled your cartridge, you want to make sure that the check valve or the side seal is free within the cartridge. Take your finger and squeeze it and feel that it travels freely. You don't want it to be binding up or sticking. And that way you know you've assembled the cartridge correctly. And it's got the A and the A. Last, you'll put the ring cover on. And of course you have the white Teflon O-ring that goes in the front of it. It's gonna feel kind of funny when you're putting it together because you're compressing the side seals cartridges into the housing. So it's going to feel like it's starting uh, incorrectly, but just take it easy and make sure. And you can feel it actually compressing them and squeezing them in there. There we go. Then we reinstall the air cap. Move to the top of the fluid housing. We reinstall the grease fitting. Using the nut driver that came with the kit. You just tighten it down. You don't have to go real tight with it. And then install the air cap, or the grease cover, excuse me. Okay. Last is the air cap. The the valve for adjusting the airflow through the air cap. You want to tighten it all the way down using your thumb as a guide. Go 90 degrees and then just a little bit more so you're actually about three-eighths of a turn and that should be about just right for your airflow through the cap. And that's it. That's your fusion gun reassembled. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at spraypolyparts.com.